Our planet, a breathtaking sphere suspended in the vastness of space, is predominantly a world of blue. This blue comes from the immense interconnected oceans that dominate its surface, shaping climates and harboring a stunning array of life. These oceans are the lifeblood of our world, regulating temperature, driving weather patterns and providing sustenance for billions. Yet among these watery realms, one stands apart with its unique characteristics and vital role, the Southern Ocean. Encircling Antarctica, the southernmost continent, it's a realm of ice and wind, a place where the elements reign supreme, sculpting the landscape and dictating the rhythm of life. The air here is crisp and biting and the sea is often choked with ice. This ocean is defined not by land masses, but by the powerful Antarctic circumpolar current, a relentless river of water that flows eastward around Antarctica. For centuries, it was simply considered the southern reaches of the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans, a remote and largely unexplored extension of these better-known bodies of water. But even early explorers recognized that this region was different, colder than its northern counterparts, noticeably less salty due to the melting ice and undeniably wilder, with storms of unparalleled ferocity. Finally, in the year 2000, the Southern Ocean was officially recognized and named as the world's fifth ocean. A testament to its unique characteristics and ecological importance, it was a young name, officially recognized just recently for an ancient force that has shaped our planet for millennia. The Southern Ocean holds another distinction. It is the only ocean to flow completely unbroken around the entire globe, a continuous band of water connecting all the world's oceans. Its powerful current forms a formidable barrier, effectively locking Antarctica in a deep freeze, isolating it from the warmer waters and climates of the rest of the world. This profound isolation has a cascading effect, shaping the weather patterns, influencing the formation and extent of sea ice, and ultimately determining the unique characteristics of every life form that manages to thrive here. Therefore, understanding the intricacies of this ocean, its currents, its climate and its ecosystems is absolutely key to understanding the complex machinery of our entire planet. Beyond its scientific importance, it's also a place of breathtaking beauty, with towering icebergs that dwarf even the largest ships, teeming with an abundance of wildlife, from playful penguins to majestic whales and sudden violent storms that can appear in an instant transforming the tranquil sea into a churning maelstrom. The Southern Ocean remains a vast and largely unexplored frontier, a place for continued exploration and a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life itself. Here, in this remote and challenging environment, we witness the raw, untamed power of nature and the incredible tenacity of life persisting and thriving in its purest, most elemental form. The Southern Ocean, also known as the Antarctic Ocean, is the newest officially named ocean on our planet. Its recognition is relatively recent, marking a significant moment in oceanographic understanding. But despite its recent naming, its wild waters have always been distinct, a realm apart from the other oceans. For centuries, mariners have known of its unique character. Sailors spoke of its unique cold, a chill that bites deeper than any other sea, and fierce winds that could tear sails to shreds. These were waters to be respected and often feared, and relentless seas, waves that could dwarf even the largest vessels, a constant unforgiving motion, conditions that tested even the bravest crews, pushing them to their limits and beyond. Survival in these waters was a testament to skill and resilience. In 2000, after years of debate and consideration, the International Hydrographic Organization, the Authority on Maritime Naming, officially recognized it as a separate ocean, solidifying its place on world maps and in scientific discourse. This recognition was based on its unique temperature profile, significantly colder than the surrounding oceans, a result of its proximity to Antarctica. Also, its distinct salinity, influenced by melting ice and unique precipitation patterns, sets it apart chemically, and crucially the presence of the mighty Antarctic Circumpolar Current, a powerful force that isolates the Southern Ocean and drives its unique ecosystem. Covering over 20 million square kilometers, a vast and largely unexplored expanse, it's the fourth largest ocean in the world a significant body of water that plays a crucial role in global climate regulation. Bigger than the Arctic, it holds a greater volume of water and exerts a stronger influence on global ocean currents. 
What happens here affects the entire planet. The Southern Ocean is a key player in the Earth's climate system. Its processes shape weather and ocean currents far beyond its icy borders, influencing weather patterns and marine ecosystems across the globe. The Southern Ocean is home to the strongest average winds found anywhere on the planet, a testament to its exposed location and unique atmospheric conditions. And some of the largest waves on Earth sculpted by those relentless winds and the vast, uninterrupted expanse of water. Sailors, facing these conditions firsthand, named its latitudes the Roaring Forties, a nod to the powerful winds that dominate this region. Further south, they encountered even more extreme conditions, leading them to dub the area the Furious Fifties, a place of constant storms and peril. And the most extreme conditions of all, closer to Antarctica, earned the name Shrieking Sixties for good reason, a place where the wind seems to scream across the icy wastes. These waters are a churning cauldron of energy, a place where the ocean's raw power is constantly on display. Where nature's power is on full display, a spectacle of wind, waves and ice that is both awe-inspiring and humbling. It's not just wild, it's a place of extremes, a frontier where the forces of nature reign supreme. It's a vital, dynamic force shaping a world of ice and life, a critical component of the global ecosystem. The Southern Ocean's influence reaches every corner of the globe, connecting distant ecosystems and influencing climate patterns worldwide. The Southern Ocean, a realm of icy wonder and stark beauty, holds secrets that are only beginning to be understood. Its defining feature, the key to its unique character, is the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, a force of nature unlike any other on our planet. It's a colossal river, an immense body of water, relentlessly circling Antarctica from west to east, a constant powerful motion. This current is not just strong, it's the most powerful on Earth, a true titan of the ocean. It's moving more water than all the world's rivers combined, an astonishing volume that underscores its significance. Imagine the Amazon, the Nile, the Mississippi, all dwarfed by this single current. It forms a barrier, a natural boundary in the ocean. This barrier is crucial, separating the frigid, icy Antarctic waters from the warmer, more temperate oceans to the north, creating a distinct temperature gradient. This separation leads to a unique ecological boundary, a zone where life has adapted to the extreme conditions. Many species here are found nowhere else on the planet, a testament to the power of isolation and adaptation. They have evolved in isolation, developing unique characteristics to thrive in this challenging environment. The current's formation began a long time ago, around 34 million years ago, a pivotal moment in Earth's history. It was triggered when Antarctica and South America finally drifted apart, a continental divorce that reshaped the world's oceans. This separation resulted in the opening of the Drake Passage, a gateway for the current to form. This opening allowed water to flow freely around Antarctica for the first time, establishing the Circumpolar Current. This, in turn, played a crucial role in triggering the growth of Antarctica's vast ice sheets, a dramatic transformation of the landscape. The formation of the ice sheets and the establishment of the current had a profound impact, transforming global climate patterns. Beyond its surface currents, the Southern Ocean is also incredibly deep, a vast, unexplored realm. Its depths are marked by trenches plunging over 7,000 meters, abyssal plains that hide secrets yet to be discovered. Here, the cold, dense waters sink to the bottom, forming a crucial part of the global ocean conveyor belt and spread northward. These sinking waters are vital, carrying oxygen and essential nutrients to the world's deep oceans, sustaining life far beyond Antarctica. This hidden river, this deep sea current, is therefore vital to the health and well-being of marine life everywhere, a critical component of the global ecosystem. In so many ways, the Southern Ocean is a world apart, a unique and isolated environment. It's its own isolated, self-contained system, a delicate balance of life and environment found nowhere else. Its powerful currents and immense depths play a critical role, shaping the fate of the entire planet, influencing weather patterns and ocean currents worldwide. The Southern Ocean's ferocious weather is legendary. The Roaring Forties, Furious Fifties and Shrieking Sixties are named for the relentless westerly winds that circle the globe here, unimpeded by land. These winds create the largest waves on Earth, sometimes towering over 15 meters. Navigating these seas demands skill and courage. Nature's power is ever-present. The weather can shift from calm to violent storm. 
in hours, driven by the temperature clash between Antarctica and the open ocean. These storms churn the sea mixing nutrients from the deep and fueling massive blooms of phytoplankton. This process makes the Southern Ocean one of the most productive on the planet. Here, wild weather is both a challenge and the engine of life. <laughs> the Southern Ocean is defined by ice. Each winter, sea ice expands outward, nearly doubling Antarctica's size. This sea ice is dynamic, shifting and cracking to form open water channels and pressure ridges. It's a vital platform for life. Emperor penguins breed here. Seals rest and give birth. And algae grow beneath the ice, feeding krill and other creatures. Icebergs, broken from glaciers, drift for years, releasing nutrients as they melt and enriching distant waters. The relationship between ocean and ice is delicate. Sea ice reflects sunlight, helping keep the planet cool. When seawater freezes, it expels salt, making the water below denser. This cold water sinks, driving global ocean circulation. Antarctic bottom water formed here spreads throughout the world's oceans. The Southern Ocean's ice is not just a barrier, it's a life support system for the planet. Its seasonal changes are the largest on Earth, shaping ecosystems and climate alike. In this frozen kingdom, ice is both a challenge and a source of life. Despite near freezing temperatures, the Southern Ocean teems with life thanks to remarkable adaptations. Many fish and invertebrates have natural antifreeze in their blood, allowing them to survive in icy waters. At the heart of the ecosystem is Antarctic krill, tiny shrimp-like creatures whose total biomass outweighs all humans. Krill swarms feed fish, penguins, seals and the great whales, forming the base of the food web. The seafloor hosts ancient giant creatures, sea spiders, sponges and more, thriving in the cold, stable depths. In summer, 24-hour sunlight sparks massive phytoplankton blooms, fueling a seasonal explosion of life. Predators from around the world gather for this feast, making the Southern Ocean one of the planet's greatest wildlife spectacles. Here, survival means thriving in spectacular fashion. Um, the Southern Ocean is home to giants. Blue whales, the largest animals on Earth, come here to feast on krill. Humpback, fin and minke whales also gather, while orcas hunt seals with remarkable teamwork. The colossal squid, rarely seen, lurks in the depths, hunted by sperm whales. Above, the wandering albatross soars on the fierce winds, its wingspan the largest of any bird. These giants are perfectly adapted to this extreme environment, from the icy depths to the stormy skies. Their presence is a testament to the ocean's abundance and power. The Southern Ocean's giants remind us of the scale and wonder of life at the edge of the world. In this kingdom, size and endurance are the keys to survival. The Southern Ocean is a climate engine, regulating weather and ocean currents worldwide. Its cold, turbulent waters absorb vast amounts of heat and carbon dioxide, making it a crucial carbon sink. Here, dense water sinks and spreads northward, driving the global ocean conveyor belt and transporting heat around the planet. This process helps buffer Earth against rapid warming, acting like a planetary air conditioner, but as the ocean warms, its ability to absorb heat and carbon dioxide is changing with global consequences. The Southern Ocean's upwelling also sends nutrients to distant seas, supporting fisheries far away. Its influence is felt from Antarctica to the tropics, the health of this remote ocean is tied to the stability of our climate. Protecting it means protecting the planet's life support system. For all its power, the Southern Ocean is fragile, a finely balanced system now under threat. Climate change is warming its waters, accelerating ice melt and disrupting the sea ice that countless animals depend on. Ocean acidification caused by absorbing carbon dioxide threatens krill and other creatures at the base of the food web. A decline in krill would ripple through the entire ecosystem, impacting penguins, seals and whales. Yet there is hope. The Antarctic Treaty and vast marine protected areas offer some protection, but more action is needed. What happens here affects us all. The fate of the Southern Ocean is tied to our own. By protecting this remote ocean, we safeguard a vital part of Earth's climate system. Its future and ours depend on choices we make now. The Southern Ocean is a wild sanctuary, one we must fight to preserve.